Hello and welcome to today's heart opening and self-love session. 25 minutes to tune into your heart and give yourself a little bit of extra love today. It's a slow practice, all floor based. So all you need is a yoga mat and if you have them, two yoga blocks. But if like me, you don't have them, you can take the variations I take when I instruct for yoga blocks. So go ahead and get ready. Meet me at the center of your mat in a comfortable cross leg position. Make yourself comfortable in a seated position. Close your eyes and rest your hands onto your heart. Take a few deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, into your heart, into your chest. And exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And now keeping the mouth closed, exhale through the nose. Keep breathing slowly in and out through the nose, bringing the breath down into the chest, into your heart. Bringing the focus on feeling the beat of your heart. In this practice, Move slowly and mindfully, paying attention to any areas of tension or discomfort in the body. Remember to link your breath with the movement as you flow through each pose. Maintaining the love and gratitude flowing with the breath, even through the challenging postures. Release the hands onto the knees. Keeping the eyes closed, we begin with a gentle warm up for the neck. Drop the chin towards the chest and allow the head to hang. Gently start to nudge the chin to one side and then the other. Notice how it feels in the neck. With your next inhale, draw the right ear towards the right shoulder. Circle the head back. Exhale, left ear to the left shoulder and bring the chin forwards. Two more, nice and slow in this direction. Noticing how it feels in the neck from one side compared to the other. Last one. And when the chin is back to center, reverse. Left ear to left shoulder on the inhale. Circle the head back. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder and bring the chin forwards. Inhale to the left, two more. When you've completed your final circle, bring the neck back in line with the spine and roll the head back up. Reach the right arm up, place the right hand onto the left ear, gently pulling the right ear to the right shoulders to stretch and release the left side. Then pushing the head into the hand, come back to center. Other side, left arm up, hold on to your right ear and pull the left ear to the left shoulder. Release, press the head back up to center. 
Place your hands onto the shoulders, raise the elbows up, shoulder height. For our arm shoulder rolls, bring the elbows towards each other, feeling the stretch in the shoulder blades. As you inhale, bring the elbows up as high as they'll go. And exhale, stretch the elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades together to stretch out the chest and down. Inhale, squeeze the elbows forwards, release the shoulder blades. Reach the elbows up, create the circle. Exhale, back, open and stretch out the chest muscles. And release down. One more in this direction. Inhale, squeeze the elbows forwards, reach them up. Exhale, back and down, reverse. Inhale, this time bringing the elbows as far back as you can. Squeeze the shoulder blades, bring the elbows up and circle them forwards on the exhale. Inhale down, back and up, exhale forwards and down. Last one. Release. Bring the arms out to the side and then reach them behind you. Interlace all 10 fingers, push the arms away from the body, the hands away, stretching out the chest. Release the hands out parallel to the floor and with your exhale, cross the arms in front of you and give yourself a hug. Reaching the right elbow underneath the left. Walk the hands towards the shoulders. Stretching out the shoulder blades. You can lean slightly forwards to stretch out the back as well. Really stretch the arms out. Bring them behind you. Interlace all ten fingers. If that's not comfortable, you can use a yoga strap, a towel, a t-shirt, anything you have. Pull the arms away, open the chest. Exhale, other side. Opposite arm underneath, left arm underneath the right. Give yourself a big hug. Rounding the upper spine and leaning forward if that feels good. Release, come back to center. Bring the hands in front of you and come into an all fours position. Have your blocks handy and ready next to you. Place them shoulder width apart and rest the elbows onto your blocks. Hips stay above the knees for heart melting pose. A gentle way to open your heart. Drop the chest towards the mat. Bringing the forehead towards the floor and with the arms in front of you, Palms to touch. With the hands in prayer, raise the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Or for a different type of stretch into the triceps, into the arms, you can even bring the thumbs towards the neck. You decide which variation feels good and right for you today. And once you've found the sweet spot, the area that you feel needs more attention, more of your awareness, stay there. As you allow your heart to soften towards the floor, focus on the opening surrounding the arms. To release, extend the arms in front of you, weight into the hands, push back up into all fours. Cat, cat. Inhale, lengthen the front of the body, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, compress the front of the body, lengthen the back. Inhale, arch, compress the back of the body. Exhale, round, compress the front. Last one, inhale, arch the spine. Lengthen the front, look up. Exhale, round, compress the front of the body, look for the navel, stretch out the back. And back into all fours. Downward dog for five deep breaths. 
Tuck the toes, press the hips to the heels and raise the seat bones up. You can start with the knees bent, even walking out the legs a few times if that feels good. But then come to a stable downward dog position with the feet hip width apart and the hands shoulder width apart. Spread the fingers wide, roll the shoulders out and the forearms in, taking the weight out of the wrist, putting them in, putting that weight, the pressure more into the hands. Look for the thighs and with the seat bones facing up to the ceiling, gently encourage the heels towards the mat, but without it losing the form, without losing the V shape, the lower back flat. And you're stretching out the front of the body, the back of the legs, whilst improving the skeletal alignment. Next is a gentle flow between downward dog, plank and upward dog. Inhale, raise the heels up, shift the weight forwards, come into a high plank, push the floor away. Bringing the shoulders beyond the wrist, bend the elbows and drop the knees, chest and chin, one at a time or all together onto the mat, broken plank, elbows stay into the waist. With the inhale, slide through into upward dog, push the floor away, opening up the chest, stimulating the abdominal muscles. And exhale, forehead down onto the mat, tuck the toes, press the hips to the heels, downward dog. Second set, inhale, raise the heels up, shift the weight forwards, plank. Exhale, break the plank, knees, chest and chin down, elbows into the waist. Inhale, slide forwards, upward dog, strengthening the back muscles, stretching out the wrists and toning the arms as we lengthen the spine as well. Exhale, drop the forehead down, tuck the toes, press the hips to the heels, downward dog. Last one, going at your own tempo, moving with the breath. Inhale, plank. Exhale, broken plank. Inhale, slide forwards, upward dog. Exhale, forehead down, tuck the toes, hips to heels, downward dog. And release the knees down. Bring the elbows onto the floor, slide the legs back, sphinx. A passive stretch for the front of the body, shoulders away from the ears, opening up the chest, opening up the heart. All back bends are such great heart openers. Exhale, bring the forehead down, make a pillow with the hands, rest the forehead onto the pillow and relax. Another back bend, this time engaging the back muscles, cobra. Hands close to the chest, fingertips face forwards. Slide the hands slightly back so the wrists are underneath the elbows, then squeeze the elbows in. Zip up the legs, point the toes, lock the knees. Press the front of the feet and the pubic bone into the floor. Take a deep breath and peel the chest up off the mat using only your back strength. No weight into your hands. Shoulders away from the ears. Press the front of the feet into the floor. Take another sip of air to lift. And exhale, release, lowering yourself down. Make a pillow with the hands. Rest the forehead onto the pillow. Relax. Gondola. Bring the hands behind your back and interlace all ten fingers. If this is not comfortable, use a strap or a towel to give yourself more space. Then zip up the legs, point the toes, lock the knees, take a deep inhale. And as you pull back with your arm strength, raise the chest and then the legs up off the mat. So we continue to strengthen the back muscles, but with 
pulling the hands back. We get that extra juicy stretch for the chest, for the heart. Lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, release. Lower yourself down. Make a pillow with the hands. Rest the forehead onto the pillow. Tent. Slide the hands close to the chest and open them up the width of your mat, maybe even a bit wider. If you're quite flexible, you may want to consider bringing the hands lower down towards the waist. Then with the feet hip width apart, push your hands into the floor and inhale, lift the torso up. A deep stretch for the front of the body, shoulders away from the ears, open the chest. If everything's okay with the lower back, you can start to look over your right shoulder slightly to stretch and release the left side of the body. Come back to center, bend the elbows, lower yourself down. And inhale, push into the floor, straight into the other side. Looking over your left shoulder, if everything's okay with the lower back, stretch out the right side. Come back to center, bend the elbows and lower yourself down. Going straight into our shoulder stretch. Bend the elbows to bring the hands close to the shoulders. Then slide the right arm out, forming a T shape. Arm 90 degree away from the body and then push with your left hand into the floor, roll onto the right side of the body. If it's too intense, bring the hand closer down towards your hips. If it's not intense enough, bring it up farther away from the body. Once you've found your edge in the right shoulder, bend the left leg, bring the left foot behind the right thigh. Option to stay here or add on the left arm, either hanging behind your torso, behind the hips, or you can reach down to grab a hold of the left ankle and bring the left toes down. This will create a deeper stretch for the chest. To come out, release the hand, roll onto the front of the body, bend the elbows, other side. Extend the left arm out, 90 degree angle, away from the body. Push with your right hand onto the floor and roll onto the left side of the body. Adding on, bend the right leg, right toes behind the left thigh. And you have the option to reach back with your right arm, holding onto the ankle or just hanging there. Gently release, bring the hand onto the floor, roll onto the front of the body. Both hands underneath the shoulders, push yourself up into all fours. Then turn around to sit onto your glutes. Bring the feet in front of you as we prepare for supported fish pose. You may need one or two blocks for this posture. One block is going to go to the second level and then you are going to place it between the mid, back, and underneath the neck. And the second block will use underneath the head if the head is uncomfortable and the neck is dang the head is dangling in the air. So go ahead, place the block, lie down onto the block at center, making sure it is on the spine. If you need the second block, bring it underneath the head. And once you've propped yourself up, there should be no pain. The block is between the shoulder blades. It's basically propping up the back side of your heart. Dropping the head back will help you open up the throat as well. If it feels okay in the body, you can slide the feet away. 
and stretch the arms out to the side for a deeper stretch in the chest. As we hold this posture, notice how it invites your heart to become the peak of your body. This pose invokes a huge opening for the chest. So be mindful of whatever sensations, thoughts, and emotions rise within the experience. Try to stay with a feeling of opening, even when it feels a bit uncomfortable. Memorize the feeling of your heart being so wide open. Just imagine if you could spend the rest of your wakeful hours with such open body language. Knowing that the space you're creating during your practice, all this heart opening will stay with you far beyond after you close your practice, after you leave the mat. Being gentle as you come out of this posture, bring the chin in towards the chest first, then the weight into the hands to help you push up and lift the torso off the blocks, remove the blocks, then the knees, and gently roll the spine down one vertebra at a time onto the mat. Bridge pose. Lift your hips towards the sky as you press your shoulders and arms into the ground. Hands underneath the hips, interlace them getting a deeper stretch for the neck and shoulders, feeling the expansion in your chest and the release of any tension in the lower back. Roll the spine back down one vertebra at a time, keeping the Feet hip width apart, bring the arms out into a T shape and drop the knees to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Bring the legs back to center. Look up. And drop the knees to the left, looking over your right shoulder. Gently untwist. Slide the legs away. Savasana. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. Adjusting the hips and the shoulders till you find a position that is as comfortable as possible for you. Bring the left hand onto your heart and place the right hand on top. Breathe into your hands. Take several deep breaths, feeling the beat of your heart and the sense of openness and connection that you've cultivated through your practice.
Please stay as long as you wish, as you can. And enjoy this heartfelt moment of love and joy. Namaste.